saw this thing on uh, Instagram about tempo and um, all the famous golfers and how fast they swing the club and it's like it said tempo and it's just I was working on this about five years ago I'm trying to explain I had this talk with Chris Gibson my coach and I had a few games with Adam Scott just over Christmas and you know, it's hard playing with him because he hits it too good you know you just swing too fast and you're all over the place and you try and hit him like him my draw down the middle and he's birdie in every hole and you're just in the trees in the crap and, you know all over the place and it's like people people are like oh I played with this guy today he just wrecked my rhythm you know he played too fast or he played too slow or he hit it too far or blah 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 and this app we go back to this app and it was you know and it was like um it didn't have a metro metronome, which is like a tempo, which is how fast each beat go in line with each other. Tick, tick, tick. Maybe there's about 70 beats per minute, I guess. Um, so, meaning, like, it's almost like music when people have perfect pitch, they can hear a 440 hertz um, a true temperament uh, concert pitch A, which is 440. Um, they can just hear it like we can see the color of red. It's just, mm, I wonder if that is an A. I'm not too sure if that's an A. They can get it. But what is tempo and how do you pop, uh, internal, internalize it back again to this app? So it's, his swing was 27 over 11. Or, and then the Capco putting thing is your rhythm, your stroke rhythm is 1.5. And it's like, so I sort of can't get the math around where to start, where the where you know, get this get the start of the backswing, then you can get the start, then you can get the impact point, and that is count one, two, one, two. I remember putting once uh, on the putting green at some tournament, and Charlie Wee's there, and he's got this metronome ticker thing in his pocket. Right? Beep, beep. So frustrating, annoying. I was just trying to hit some putts and. I didn't even know, I even back then I was like, what's he doing, where, where, where does the beard go and where does the beard hit, and what if you go beep, beep, or what if you go beep, beep, or what if you go beep, beep, you know, where's the, it doesn't correlate any real rhythm, because where is the transition, so I'm trying to conceptualise how you can find a tempo, which is just the easy part, does this little part come from the transition and with research to you know, like Tiger Woods mostly his swing is about I think it's pretty close to 80 Every, you know his putting's close to 190 Rory, uh, uh, Ricky Fowler's putting sometimes gets high 90s from takeaway to hit so let's get to the nitty-gritty it is about a third remember everyone talks about the swing is a waltz or it's um, is it a third? Yes, it is a third. There's two parts back swing, two transition, and then there's one part to go to the hit. But how do you count that? You could count it one and two and, possibly, but then the two and is too quick. It's quarter notes. Uh, yeah, it's quarter notes. Uh, well, with yeah, it is quarter notes. But what if we count in triplets? Because it is actually a swing, which would be one triplet two. So then that would be thirds, partitions of thirds. One triplet two. It's counted different to one and two and. Because the one and two and two, it's too quick. It's it's actually 0.25. We want it as 0.3. So one triplet two. One triplet two. One and two and. It's a different way of counting and there's a latency on oh my knees there's a latency and this is interesting with a conductor conducting a string orchestra or a rock drummer trying to play at a at a concert with an orchestra there's a latency of the bow as it hits the sound comes out so it's almost very difficult to count where does the one start does it count does the one start when the club moves or does the one start when you're starting to move it, when the rhythm is to move it, so you're feeling. What I'm trying to get is to how do we feel the rhythm. We can see it, we can collect that as one. 
there's the transition to, or is the transition there, or is the transition when the club starts to move? Obviously we can get that one. So this one pretty much we can work out as one. This one we can work out as two. So that's easy. If you want to do it at 70. One triplet two. One triplet two. If you want to do it faster, one triplet two. Or you could even do it in six. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. But it's too hard to count. You can't, you can't conceptualize. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. One triplet two. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. It's the same one and two. And you could do that. One, two, three, four, five would be here. Four, five would, and that would be six. So it would be the same 0 0.33. Whereas Capco says 1.5. And I don't know how to conceptualize 1.5. So if one do it 90, which is it would be one triplet two. So let's try and do a 70 and a 90. That's therefore we're detailing what is tempo and what is rhythm. So our tempo is how fast we'll get from takeaway to hit. Our rhythm is what we do in the middle of it. So it's 70. That's what I'm trying to explain. And that's what those, they haven't told us, they just put bips like on that app. So bip, 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 bip. Well, I can't, I can't conceptualize that if I don't have a tempo to go with it. Nor can I relate to it when you swing too fast, swing too slow. You need tempo first that is divisible in equal increments, and then you put the rhythm internally inside that. 